Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Honda Fit EXL, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Honda's smallest offering is the 2020 Fit Subcompact. Although getting on in years, the 2020 Honda Fit still offers buyers an economical way to get around. Fuel economy, reliability, and resale remain strong suits for this little five-door, as does its incredibly roomy and versatile interior. In fact, the Fit has more passenger volume and cargo space than the Kia Rio five-door, Nissan Versa Note, Chevrolet Sonic and Mitsubishi Mirage. The Fit's 1.5 liter engine isn't terribly powerful or quick, but really few cars in the subcompact class can say different. And you can still get a six-speed manual on the Fit. A CVT automatic transmission with paddle shifters will likely be the choice for most, however, but it does offer better fuel economy than the manual. Cargo and passenger space are superb for such a small car, featuring some of the most clever folding seats fitted to any vehicle. Four adults will fit comfortably, and with all seats stowed away, the Fit can hold plenty of cargo. The 2020 Honda Fit is a subcompact hatchback available in four trim levels, LX, Sport, EX, and EXL. Every Fit is powered by a 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine that drives the front wheels. A six-speed manual transmission is standard on LX and Sport models, while a continuously variable automatic transmission is optional. Now, that CVT automatic comes standard on the EX and EXL. With the manual transmission, the engine is rated at 130 horsepower and 114 pound-feet of torque. With the CVT transmission, the power is 128 horsepower and 113 pound-feet of torque. Price-conscious shoppers who also want a few creature comforts should find the mid-level sport trim appealing. It replaces the steel wheels with true alloys, adds two more speakers, and includes a touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay integration. Taller drivers will appreciate it too, since it's the most well-equipped fit without a headroom-reducing sunroof. But you'll need to go up-level to the EX if you want advanced driving aids, such as lane departure warning and for collision warning. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Honda Fit. It's a subcompact five-door hatchback. But real quick, before we get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. What a fitting page to be looking at right now or a fitting thing to be looking at because, well, obviously the Honda Fit competes against other subcompact vehicles. I've done build and price reviews of many of them. For instance, I've done a build and price review of the 2020 Toyota Yaris XLE sedan. I did a build and price review of the 2020 Kia Soul in the EX Designer Collection trim configuration. And, of course, I did the uh, build and price review of the 2020 Honda Civic EX sedan. So, after you watch this video on the 2020 Honda Fit, make sure you check out a couple of those other videos as well. So, let's check out the exterior colors here for the 2020 Honda Fit. Uh, this color here they're showing, they're saying is Orange Fury, and then down below they tell you what trim levels the color is available on. There's four trim levels, and this color is available on all four trim levels. We can also uh, do a oh yeah, we can do a virtual uh, spin around, so we can get a virtual walk around completely, a 360 walk around of the uh, 2020 Honda uh, Fit. So Orange Fury, then we have Platinum White Pearl. Uh, and then we have the Lunar Silver Metallic, Modern Steel Metallic, Crystal Black Pearl, Milano Red, and Aegean Blue Metallic. Okay, so let's go over these trim specs in a little bit more detail than, than the overview. So you got your base model uh, LX, it's four trim levels. You got your base model LX, comes in at 16,190. You know, it's bare bones, really. You do get Bluetooth auto streaming, six-speed manual transmission. But most folks are going to want to bump up to the Sport. With the Sport, you still you can still get the, the manual transmission, but you can also get the CVT. I guess you can get the CVT in any of them, uh, except for and then, but you can't get the you can't get a manual on the EXs. Uh, but at any rate, the Sport's a nice little uh, uh, model. You get the 16-inch alloy wheels. It's 17,600. Apple CarPlay. Android Auto, it's sporty. 
it's sporty. But then if you want some more grown-up stuff, some more safety features, some more features in general, you're going to take about oh, oh, just under a 2000 well, not quite, it's about a $1,500 jump to $19,060. So you can get the Honda Sensing, uh, you get the one-touch power moonroof, uh, all that kind of stuff. And so the EX is nice. However, you know by the title of this video that we're going to build and price an EXL, a Honda Fit EXL on the channel. Why? Because I like the leather trimmed interior. And yeah, it's a lot more money than your base model at $16,000. You know, you're looking at another $4,000 to get yourself into the EXL. But boy, it comes with everything. It comes with everything. So if you just need yourself a cheap little car, why not have a nice cheap little car so leather trimmed interior heated front seats heated side mirrors all the goodies twenty thousand dollars and change so uh, before we actually build this though let's go and find all the features let's go check out all the features because if we look up here we got a gallery colors exterior interior technology features honda sensing features all that kind of stuff so let's check out all the features and then we'll come back and build and price our exl Let's quickly go through the gallery. We kind of looked at the photos a little bit uh, during the overview. I don't think that we need to necessarily, well, I guess it's fast enough. Let's just pop up the big photos so we can see them, right? That's going to be one of these things about the Honda Fit. It's going to be able to squeeze into a very tight spot, even though they're talking about their review camera. But, yeah, you're going to be able to squeeze into small spaces. I think by the way they've got it angled in, I don't think they're going to make it the way they're angled in there. Uh, yeah, so you got the Fit there. It's It's okay. I think I do like the sport. I do like the little aggressive body lines of the sport, but I'm a I'm a leather interior kind of person, and so I really want the leather interior. And so yeah, you know they do have these little pieces of information down here at the bottom, but we're blowing right through those because well we're going to be checking out the features in just a second, and so the stuff's just kind of redundant. And here they might not talk about this in the features, but here they're talking about the, you know your you know the advanced body construction and the crumple zones and all that kind of stuff. Stuff that protects you. Uh, stuff that protects you. Uh, all right, let's check out the interior photos. I mean, there's only so much to the outside of that car. You're going to spend all your time looking around on the inside. So here you got the push-button start. The interior looks very nice. It's a nice interior, especially when you throw some leather interior, in which they got. Here's the EXL they're showing you. And for $20,000, that is a nice, nice interior. It is very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Stick shift looks really great. That little, the little round ball on the stick, that looks really fun. So if you get the sport, boy, if you like the manual, go ahead and hop on that. Too bad they don't offer at least a faux leather seat on the sport. Uh, interior is nice, though. Interior is very nice. There's your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There's your infotainment system, surely a touchscreen. Here's your cubby for your center armrest there. Yep, here's they're showing Apple Car. I'm sorry, Android Auto now. Paddle shifters, if you get the CVT. The, the paddle shifters are standard on the EX and EXL. Here you got your standard Bluetooth phone technology. This is all on your multifunction steering wheel. That means you've got a steering wheel with buttons on it that you can do stuff. Here they're talking about their audio streaming and all of that. Okay, so we went through all the exterior, now all the interior photos. Let's go check out all the features. Let's start with the exterior features for the 2020 Honda Fit. They say it's a small car with a big attitude. It's got the right mix of sporty styling and uh, aerodynamic efficiency. Okay, so be it. Uh, unique front end. What's unique about it? It's got body lines and contours that flow into the headlights. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, grill and badging, so yeah, it all flows into that, creating a unique front end with an attitude. I guess it does have a little bit of attitude, especially in the sport trim. Uh, here they're talking about the fog lights. Uh, that's cool. Not going to be standard on your base model for sure. Here they're talking about the LED brake lights. Uh, that's cool. And the rear spoiler. Now, does every fit get a rear spoiler? I'm not sure. Uh, what else they got here? They're talking about the 16-inch alloy wheels. Those look very nice. Here they're getting specific about the sport trim in general. Uh, and it, for sport trim features an underbody spoilers, right? This little arrow kit down here. Leather wrap shift knob and steering wheel, chrome exhaust tips, 16 inch black alloy wheels, right? And then there's also LED fog lights. Now we're talking about exterior accessories. Uh, we got LED fog lights, those are nice. You got the tailgate spoiler, that's nice. 
You got the body side moldings. I don't know. One time, I think I optioned a car with body side moldings, and boy, I got chewed apart on that. So <laughs> we're not doing body side moldings again. 16-inch uh, black alloy wheels with a little. Those are kind of fun looking, aren't they? Yeah, bold statement. Those are nice. I like that. Splash guards, nicely fitted, and this is going to save your paint from getting hammered by stuff that your wheels would normally kick up on the paint. So that's cool. Lots of great accessories. Uh, factory performance accessories. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, so that means we could get an EXL and still make it look sporty. So we can get us, we can get it, make it, may, hopefully look as sporty as a sport. So yeah, let's move on to interior features. Okay, so here we are. The interior features. Uh, they say that the 2020 Honda Fit has seating for up to five, and there's 52 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Uh, the 60/40 split second row of seats. Uh, second row magic seat. I'm sure they're going to tell us about the magic seat here. Uh, let's explore the cabin. Look at it with the EXL with the leather trimmed interior. It looks fantastic. Uh, what's this economy mode? And what does this do? Optimize the engine, transmission, air conditioning, cruise control to help save fuel. Here they're talking about that optional six-speed manual that you can only get on the base model LX or the Sport. Here's your paddle shifters, which are standard on the EX and the EXL. You got heated front seats. Those are sweet. Surely got to be standard on the EXL. Uh, whoops. Steering wheel mounted controls, right? Other manufacturers call it a multifunction steering wheel, which because it's got all these buttons. It's a nice looking steering wheel. Looks leather wrapped to me, I think. Yep. Uh, push button start. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You got power outlets down in the center armrest. You got a USB and a 12 volt. And here's that second row magic seat transforms into four modes. Utility, long, tall, and refresh. Okay, well, all right, if you say so. That didn't really show me anything, but all right. Here's utility mode. Okay, here's utility mode. Uh, so fold down the second row magic seat, and now you get 52 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Here's tall mode, I guess, or sorry, long mode, because uh, you can let fold down the passenger side seats in both the front and the rear. So that's long mode. Here's tall mode. Remove the head restraints and fold up the rear seats. Wow. You can fold the rear seats up. This is a very versatile car. It's a very versatile car. I like it. Now, we're going to end up spending more than 20 grand because by the time I add all the accessories, boy, but that's the fun part. Uh, refresh mode is, well, yeah, so you can sit back and relax. Okay, cool. There you go. If you need a nap, it says. Uh, here's some accessories now. Uh, LED interior illumination, cool. Illuminated door sills, nice. All season floor mats, sweet. You got the cargo net, it's a nice little car. Cargo organizer, got the armrest compartment, nice. Nice, nice. Okay, that was it. I'm still waiting for the next thing. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Let's move on to technology features. Okay, technology features. Let's see. There's an available display audio touchscreen, multi-angle rear view camera, Honda Lane watch. Let's explore the connectivity. So Apple CarPlay integration, check. Android Auto, check. Honda Link. Uh, everybody's got an app. Honda does too. Uh, what does it do? So I clicked on that, you know, find out more stuff, and it doesn't really say much. Key features. Uh, you can check mileage, fuel range, oil life right from your app. You can schedule service appointments. Then they have these feature sets, right? Basic and link and all this stuff. And they have stuff like vehicle guides, recall notifications, roadside assistance, service appointments. And then under here, v dashboard, right? We already saw that, vehicle notifications. So, yeah, uh, they don't really get into it. But, yeah, that's that's the Honda Link thing. Okay, now going back to where we were, now we're talking about the premium audio system uh, that's available with a, up to a, with six speakers at 180 watts of power. There's your USB. Uh, there's a 7-inch touchscreen display. There's radio choices, HD radio, Pandora, Sirius XM, multi-angle rearview camera. That is not standard. Uh, here's your Honda Lane watch. So that's... Other manufacturers call it blind spot. <laughs> they call it lane watch. Uh, smart entry, right? That's your keyless entry and all that. Probably has your push button starts by combined with that package. Uh, very cool. All right, last but not least, let's check out this Honda Sensing. Honda Sensing is a suite of 
safety and driver assist technologies, uh, and all of that. So what do you get? You get the collision mitigation braking system. You get the road departure mitigation system, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist system. Okay, so you know what? I think we learned. I think we learned. We got all the features. We went through all the all the uh, the headlines up there. We went through all the categories. So let's click. The okay, so here we are on the Honda configurator. I've already got the 2020 Fit EXL selected. That's the one with leather interior. You only get one engine and transmission option. Uh, and then next up, you got colors. Here they're showing the Milano red. We've got the Aegean Blue. We've already gone through all the colors. Which one do I like? I don't, I'm not really sure. Definitely not going to be that Orange Fury. I can tell you that much right now. Uh, this is the Platinum White Pearl. I don't think so. The Milano Red's a little interesting. It's a little interesting. There's the Modern Steel. Let's try, uh, no, it's too small to be all black, I think. I'm not really sure what color I want. And so let's, I guess, let's just leave it on Milano Red. Uh, as far as interior is concerned, you only get one color, black leather. That works for me. Uh, next up is wheels. Here's the 16-inch wheels right here. Or you can get these updated wheels that I like, those accessory ones, for $1,250. Those were kind of fun. Let's go ahead and get those. And so do note that you know it's a $20,000 car. By the time we get done with all these accessories, however, this might be a $23,000. I don't know what it's going to be. But it's going to be more than a $20,000 car. So do note that this is probably where you tap out. If you just wanted the EXL all in, you're going to tap out before you start doing all these accessories, uh, these upgrades. What else do they have? They got the Honda Sensei. We got that. What's this Honda Factory Performance Package? Now, what's that all about? Ah, so we can make it sporty. We can make it sporty. Black, you get the sport pedals. The sport suspension, uh, the underbody spoiler. Let's go ahead and go for it. It's really, really expensive. It's really, really expensive, but boy, look at that. Can we spin it around? Yeah, I guess, sort of. Now it's, you know, we got almost a $25,000 little subcompact here, but you know, it's all for fun. It's all for fun. What else they got here? Uh, all season protection packages, black wheel package. We already got the black wheels. Let's move on. Uh, they got all the body molding stuff. I do like those LED fog lights. Let's get those LED fog lights. I like those. I think the mud splash guards are cool. Uh, oh, you got to remove the performance package. Yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. Uh, what else do we have here? We got the tailgate spoiler. We got all that other stuff. Uh, yeah, we got the special wheels. Interior, it's just a bunch of mats and all-season mats. That's stuff you can get from the dealer at any time. But the things I do like, I do like those the illuminated door sill trim. That is very nice. I like the door panel protector too because, yeah, you always push that open with your foot and all that. Let's go ahead and get that. That's that's smart. I also like the interior illumination. That's cool. Uh, and the sport pedals we already have. Let's move on. What else is there? Remote engine start? Sold. Engine block heater? Nah, we don't need that. Summary? Yeah, like I said, this is where you're going to tap out. $20,000 car, $20,000 car, now it's $26,000 and change. But that's what it would take to have a fully loaded, the ultimate, easily the ultimate uh, 2020 Honda Fit. I like it. I do. It's it's definitely t basically 10, 000, almost $8,000 and change more than your base model LX, but it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. All right, so on that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2020 Honda Fit EXL 5-door hatchback helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.